Hello everyone, this is Jackie Williams and in this video I want to share with you a fun Christmas card project using the Oh Holy Night Suite. Now this suite is a gigantic one with two bundles and two packs of papers and it is currently found on page 15 of the mini catalog and I will show you a few of the things in person but I wanted to just point out where it is in the book or you can look in the online store and the link is below. So this is the one of the bundles it's called Night Divine and beautiful scripted fonts with more religious sayings and then the very classical nativity type of images with the cute little farmyard or barnyard animals. And then we've got the Knight of Navy Sheer Sparkle Ribbon. This is quite beautiful and fun to work with. And then this suite also includes the Stars at Night bundle. And there's actually a couple more little star dies that are included, but they're currently uh, being used. And this one is all about stars. And this one comes with the embossing folder as well. And I did up this little piece so you could see what it looks like embossed. But this is also a hybrid folder. So you can use this die separately and that folder separately, or you can marry them together. And then when you run that through the machine, you get these embossed stars already cut out. And I'm gonna show you that as we do our project. And then the last thing I'll show you is just a sampling of these papers. I've actually used most of the pack. So I only have four of the sheets here, but you can see it's a lot of night sky type of images and the skylines and the desert images. And then I also particularly like the back of the papers that are um, more copper clay and more just general prints. So they can be used year round. All right, let's start with our card. And I have a piece here that is four inches by 10 and a half. And then I have scored it at eight inches. So our card is going to be four by eight inches. And you wanna get this nice and flat here. And then I have another piece that is four inches by three and a half. And this is going to form our card front like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is place this window sheet in between the two pieces. Now window sheet doesn't work well with glue, so I do recommend you use glue dots or even better, some tear and tape. And I'm just going to place that on the card front like this, and then I'll put a bit of tape here at this bottom piece. And I'm just going to slide that, oops, slide that up until it matches this bottom edge of the back piece so that my front and back legs are the same length. Okay, so that was pretty easy to put together. So it's looking like this on the card front. Now I have cut from that Bethlehem scene, I've cut a little strip of the skyline and then another strip of the night sky. Now before I put this piece on though, I'm going to put my words and I'm going to heat emboss those. So I'll use my emboss buddy. And then I'm going to stamp out of that Night Divine set that Peace and Joy, which I thought was quite nice. Okay, then I'll put a bit of white powder on there. Make sure all those white specks are actually part of the paper. And then I'll just heat that up. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put these onto the card front and make sure to cover up any tape lines. There we go. Now, I wanna add a big star and I've got my gold foil here. And here's where we're going to use the folder and our dies. So on this side, with the black Stampin' Up! label, label you just slot the dies in. Now, I only want these two stars. So I'm just gonna put my paper in like this, close it up, just check that I'm getting all the pieces. And then I'm gonna run it through my machine like a standard, uh, like an embossing folder. Even though there's dies in there, you still run it through with the plates that you would normally use with an embossing folder. And then when it comes out, you'll have two stars that look like this. Now I'm going to use 
glue dots at the top point and the bottom point of that star and then decide where that's going to be positioned about like that and then for this one i would like to put that up with a dimensional right over top and then these bloom and pearls they actually come in four colors i've used um, all of these more green ones but they do have these nice gold ones and i'm just going to put that uh, gold dot right in the middle of that star. Now, then for the inside, before I put this in, I'm gonna stamp at the top and I'm gonna use Night of Navy ink. And the stars are brightly shining. I thought that was quite nice to put on a card that has stars as their feature. And I'm putting that right at the top. Okay, then I've embossed a panel of white with that stars at night folder and i just want to position that so that it's showing through my window so we've got plain white there which actually doesn't look bad but i liked having that little bit more um, interest there too and then i did cut just two strips of the star paper and you'll have some of this left over anyway if you're making this card so i thought we could just make use of it on the inside and then you still have this panel down here uh, to write one more thing i wanted to do was on the inside as an extra you can cut another star just to cover up that white and also makes it very pretty on the inside as well and again, I would use tape or glue dots or a bit of both on that window sheet. Make sure it's perfectly lined up so it doesn't show through on the front. And then one last thing. There is a die in this set that just cuts these very tiny stars. And I'm gonna open up my card and on the inside, I'm just sort of eyeballing where they need to go, up there and there. Place the glue down and then your small pieces on top of the glue. That's way easier than trying to put the glue on the small pieces. And there we go. That is our card all finished. You, if you're not a religious person or are sending this to someone who's not religious, you could just use stars and stars. There's lots of star prints in that pack, so you could just make it a star card without the Bethlehem or desert landscape but for those of you who are religious i felt as i was making this there was a little bit of a meaning to it where we've got the stars which are heavenly and the buildings which are earthly and then you have that beautiful star which symbolizes a great event in the world which is connecting the heavens with the earthly just thought that was a nice extra meaning to this beautiful christmas card now I do have a few other samples to share with you that use more of the products in this suite. So first I have this one, which was created by Helen Wiggum and Karen Hadler, some of the members of my team. So this one's a nice, uh, oops, opens this way, a, more of a clean card with lots of white, but some beautiful gold accents. And then I've got this one, I'm not sure the name of this fold, but this one was created by Rebecca Palmer. Um, I'm not sure who the original designer was, but that's a nice way to showcase those papers and those nativity dies as well. And then speaking of the nativity dies, uh, here's a couple of slightly different ones using the specialty paper in the pack. And then I've used just strips of the Holy Night papers to create kind of a landscape feel and then use some of the images in that cute die set with the sheep and the camel and the shepherd uh, with just a few extra gold accents. And this one goes together very quickly. And then this card was inspired by Sharon Carr and also a few other samples that I saw online. So this one is with boho blue and vellum. And then inside we've got just a really simple fun fold but that one is one that would, oh, you can't really see it under the video, but it would stand up on the mantle quite nicely for display and show lots of layers on the inside. 
And then here's one in some different sort of colors with Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape with Balmy Blue. Just a really simple one, but nice and light and bright with those beautiful star images. And then my last sample, also just a nice quick one using that fresh Freesia glimmer paper along with Lost Lagoon. So some non-traditional colors and you just would do a little swish of watercolor in the background and some stamping and add that beautiful star. I did wanna keep these ones kind of simple because too many other things or other sparkly things on the card tended to compete with the with the star. So that's one nice thing about this set is um, if you're using that star, it tends to be the star of the show, which is kind of punny, but you know what I mean? It's the focal point, And so you don't actually really want a whole lot else going on. So there are my samples. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that inspires you to make some Christmas cards and please see my links in the descriptions to download some free tutorials, to follow me on other platforms, and also a link to browse the products that I have used today. Thanks so much for joining me. This is Jackie Williams. I'd love to share with you. Please leave me a comment and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.